Welcome back to New Mexico Wildlife. I'm Bob Girding. The Gila River is now home to native Gila trout thanks to years of hard work by the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish and a host of other state and federal wildlife conservation agencies. But now that the fish are back in their native waters, they're getting some much needed help where they can hide from the predators. It's a small corridor near the Gila Wilderness in southern New Mexico called Black Canyon Creek. This group of volunteers is ready to do some work in the stream, but first, a few words of warning. Kind of take it easy and like kind of watch your step everywhere. Um, it's a little early for uh, snakes and other um, biting critters um, this time of year, but just kind of be careful if you're placing your hands somewhere, just kind of be careful on those lines. State environment workers in the Silver City field office say their aim is to restore vegetation in the area in hopes of decreasing water temperatures along this reach of the Gila River. Part of that work includes planting willow cuttings in the riparian stream corridor. As you can see, some of these areas have a pretty wide and shallow um, stream channel. And what the uh, willows will do is actually stabilize some of these cut banks, especially this cut bank immediately below me, um, and decrease the lateral erosion into some of these productive wetland and agricultural areas. Willows also provide shade cover. And since we're interested in um, arresting or restoring this water temperature impaired stream, canopy cover is going to be an important part of reducing the amount of solar radiation that hits the water surface. Lower water temperatures mean a much healthier trout population, and that's good news for people like Charles Mueller, who has fished for Apache trout and golden trout, but there's one fish he's still waiting to catch. Still waiting to fish for the Gila trout. Charles is a member of the Mesilla Valley Fly Fishers Association, a club that works closely with New Mexico Game and Fish, supporting efforts to help restore the streams of the Gila. I just hope that there's more, uh, what we're doing here will inspire other people to do the same thing we're doing. Sometimes you can, if it's really hard, you can work it in and it'll go better that way. Through a combination of monitoring and assessment, the state evaluates the Gila tributaries every seven years, tracking water temperatures using survey equipment. We basically install temperature data loggers, which record the temperature on, a, on an hourly interval during the summer months. It's just wide and really shallow and we'd like it to have a little more velocity and then have some deeper holes for trout. And so we're kind of, we're going to let it happen naturally. We're just kind of help, helping it out a little bit. On this particular day, Tanya Brummett directs the volunteers in proper log movement and placement. The log movement and placement is uh, to try to break up some of these areas that are, are wide and flowing very shallow. Um, what that does is when you have a shallow, wide flowing stream, it, it uh, increases the temperature of the water quite a bit, especially when there's not enough shade. This area is a native area for Gila trout, but because of the group's work to improve the water quality here, it is also a recovery area for Gila trout. The cool thing that's going on out here right now actually with the Gila trout is that um, because of these efforts and, and efforts of others to try to protect the native population, we've actually recovered it to a point where we can allow uh, catch and release uh, fishing for part of the year on this northern part of Black Canyon Creek. From July 1st through the end of October, fishing enthusiasts like Charles Mueller can now cast a line in Black Canyon Creek. It's just a different species and you like to go after it. Uh, just like a hunter would like to go after different types of species, a fisherman likes to try to do that too. People can come up here and actually catch a native Gila trout. Um, and that's uh, really a pretty exciting thing for um, game and fish as well as for anglers and for the Forest Service. 